Hey everybody, this is DLL Cool J from ArchCloud Labs. Today, we're going to go ahead and take a look at how we can optimize the Ghidra auto analysis function and also change a couple settings related to the decompilation options with Ghidra that'll help us cache a few more functions. So when we're, you know, in our analysis phase and, uh, you know, we're really digging into a binary, we won't have to wait for the decompilation to kick back off if we've already cached so many functions. Um, additionally, this will also help speed up the initial auto analysis features. So let's go ahead and dive in. So I'm going to start by opening up Ghidra and I'm going to just go ahead and create an empty project and then I'm going to go ahead and throw in a binary. I went ahead and generated just a default Metasploit payload, nothing fancy, uh, really just for the sake of demonstration purposes. You can kind of use whatever you want here. And I'm going to go ahead and import the file. Let Ghidra go ahead and auto-populate all the magic. And a couple things just to point out, interesting here, you know, with the default Metasploit payload, you know, there's a handful of things that are common. Apache benchmark is what the company name is. And I actually think we might follow up with a video of diving into just what does it look like to analyze a Metasploit payload to kind of do an introduction to Ghidra as well. But let's go ahead and double click on this binary to open up the code browser. Now we're going to go ahead and select yes for this scenario and just go with the defaults and let Ghidra do its auto analysis magic and uh, figure out where the strings are, some data definitions, etc. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and take a look at the application log to see how long this took to run. So in your uh, home folder, if you go to a hidden, your hidden Ghidra folder, you'll find another hidden folder in there related to your Ghidra installation and then an application.log file. This contains information about what was going on with your Ghidra instance, and it also contains a nice little snapshot of how long did auto analysis take for each of these different sections. So that's really interesting because we can see, oh, we took an extra long time on the stack or with ASCII strings, etc. So we see we took almost five seconds to do analysis of our uh, Metasploit payload here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to close this and we're not going to save it. It's very critical to not save. Then we're going to go ahead and open up our tool uh, browser here and we're going to change the number of threads to be 25. You can go ahead and put in what's most appropriate for your system. Additionally, I want to point out if you go through the decompiler options, you can change the overall cache size or the number of functions you want to cache, the max payload for your decompiled uh, decompiler, excuse me, and also how long you want to wait until it just times out and it took too long to actually decompile a function. So you can modify all of these and uh, you know shape them to whatever environment that you have, or, or maybe like a stubborn binary, or maybe there's something weird in a CTF that's just you know causing something to time out because you know CTFs like to do things like that. So then we're going to go ahead and run the analysis again and immediately we'll notice that this was significantly faster and let's go ahead and take a look at that application log. And sure enough, uh, a little over two seconds. So we went from almost five seconds to two seconds. And you know, you can tune your threads to whatever's appropriate for your system, but these are nice little tricks to kind of speed up the initial analysis. But then also those decompiler options, if you go to edit and tool options, save a lot of time when you're dealing with a bunch of functions and you're jumping back and forth. You also can restore defaults if you ever get into a state where you're like, ah, eh, this is kind of unstable or, or something weird's going on. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.